Welcome back, my friends. So I've been flying around. We're just trying to get Fiddy Adamantine. Unfortunately, it does not look like it's going to be an easy task, as I am as I was hoping it would be. So, let us take an adventure to try and get that Adamantine. Right, we just travel through the star systems. And it works out for the best, right? Not sure what to make of this transmission. It appears to be a complex theorem of our course. So they just did two of the same thing. No use for me. That's cute. They place no value on gold, apparently. Now I got 16 out of 50. We'll slowly work it out, I think. Maybe. Where else can we stop? We could stop over at the Citadel. See what they got. Let's see what the Sora to have to offer. All right, almost halfway there. Thank you. We'll be leaving now. Hey, look at another probe. That'll be able to catch it, though. Let's find out. We are somewhat on an intercept course. Curving, be like a dick. Right into the enemies. Alright, you sons of bitches. Really? Did it just circle the planet to be an asshole? What a fucking prick. Fuck off, guy. You know, I was gonna try to find your planet, but now I'm thinking I might just blow you all the fuck up. to go where and um, I want to go there and see what that distance because it was like what one something layer or point one run into some friendly along the path although having this this 50 uh, crew up not as fast hoping to build a combat boat but apparently that's not gonna happen quite yet. So 
still need 26 more out of mad time and we'll be able to do so Says we are what 250 away. One point five to two fifty, so whatever that ratio is. Okay, did some rough math. It's about thirteen thousand AU away from there. But I still can't fight to find out where my markings might be. flying towards it like it's going to help. Not what I want to do. Going here is what I want to do. I get this adamantine. So it's what? 22 Lear away from God damn it. Zoom the fuck in, you piece of shit. So what, 22 Lear from here. So... So what, 8, 16, 24, so... 6, 3, 3... 39 39 astrals from here where what I were near close to 13,000 from there Thirty-nine from there. There's no way it's closer to that one. Lactic dust. Here in deep space, our instruments confirm a high free hydrogen density isn't just localized phenomena. Whoop de do! Alright, so we're at about the right range from here. What we're not at is the right range from here. Yeah. Getting there. Not quite. Unless I'm way off in my assumption of what a Lear is, which I don't think that I am. Hey! We're doing the battle that is the one I'm after.
My triangulating skills are pretty on point. Yeah. Now what the hell do I expect though when I get down here is the real question. Hi right, everybody. Intruder, identify yourself or immediately be destroyed. Well that's great. Over a hundred hatchings ago, our ships flew through the whirlpool. Three hatchings later, a single cast to return. It brought reports of a terrible evil called the Phage that threatened entire worlds. It could pluck memories from those it consumed to better help it devour. path back to the nest is, was guarded with secrecy. No Arona would divulge it. If you come here, you must be the Phage. We're not the Phage. We found our way markers left by one of your survey ships. We did send out survey ships long before the Phage, but the Phage could have learned that as well. What you say is true, you should know the names we've given some of your stars. Uh, was it Pink Jester? No, Golden Jester? Dying Cathedral and Crimson Priestess? Yeah, those are the names we have given some of your stars in your old surveys. You may proceed to the Aurora Nest to make your case. Hey, alright. Hey, we did it. We found friendly things, finally. Fuck. Are you gonna move? If I can scan your shit, find out where your nest is at. Seven thousand kilometers below the atmosphere's freshwater ocean, floating upon layers of dense liquid hydrogen. Very strange. A little bit. I thought hydrogen was one of the lighter gases, you know, being hydrogen and all. What do I know? I, I'm no physicist. There's a lot of birdie spaceships down here. Hopefully they don't get pissed off for no particular reason. That would suck dick. So, we've learned to definitely read most things in the game, otherwise I probably never would have found this. I'm assuming that will be their planet. Hey, warp thingamajig. A comet. I can't catch that comet. That's a fast one with comment, I'll tell you what. No, I can catch it on its Nope, its peak is here. Uh brilliant comet. We caught the comet, but not the probe. The comet is emitting visible light at intense intensity that rivals some small stars. Toward the sensors, the uh, energy source is the trace amounts of magnesium. Yeah. Magnesium will burn hella bright. Catch it. Am I catching up? Am I catching up? Am I catching? I'm slowly catching. Come here, little shit. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. Oop. Probably a considerable amount of time in. Whatever. We don't care. Let's be real. Nobody gives a fuck about the. Hey, another comet. Turn it burn towards the comet. Because they do give us nice chunks of research. Let's, let's not lie. Comet, where did you go? Comet? 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 Hmm. The rainbow. Double rainbows? What does it mean? Tracking different wavelengths of its eternally produced light over the lifetime of its ablating crystals. Both interesting and beautiful. Oh. Okay. Double rainbow? What does it mean?
All right, so we gotta go here to this planet, go back here, and, and then we'll warp back up and um, still try to get this adamantine. Because once we get the adamantine, I should hopefully be able to fight the robots. Because I'll have shields of my own. Mm, yeah, that's probably their home world, isn't it? Big old some bitch just chilling there. As the surveyor lands, lander descends, a small fighter ship appears and escorts it to the landing pad on a high summit. From there, the team is escorted to the plain air perch, where they are met by a distinguished looking Oconian, flanked by dozens of guards. After the team leader explains the Starcom directive, Atlas's commander does not go on the survey missions for obvious reasons. A video comm link to the ship is set up. On behalf of the Arona, I welcome you and your crew to the nest. I am Diplomatic Counselor Ser Serenet. What can we do for you? We request a treaty group identifier to prevent hostilities with the Arona outside the nest. There are Arona outside the nest by the prismatic messenger. This is extraordinary! We have long given up any hope that any of the original scouting fleet survived. Really, my dude? You could just send somebody down the wormhole and check. I will give you treaty codes transmitted to your ship immediately. With them, you should be able to make diplomatic contact with the dispersed fleet. Fleet. This jewel is actually part of a data crystal. Not just any data crystal, but Starcom Data Archive. I don't know. The Arona could have ended up with it, but even as the... Even as a fragment has a tremendous amount of research data on it, also contains algorithms which I'm analyzing. Got a whole shit ton of research from this adventure. Mm -hmm. I finished the analysis. It's another algorithm related to the graph theory, but different from the previous. Whatever it is, there's some very advanced math. Yay! In, rem in recognition to the tremendous service you have done for us, I am presenting you with Tolinar, a shard of the jewel that adorned the original nest fresh. We thank you, Torek and the crew of the Atlas. Well, we made friends. We made birdie friends. All right. Rising Thermos, Torek, what can the Arona Nest fleet do for you? I'd like to trade. That adamantine. Oh, you trade Charlite. Son of a bitch, I don't have any Charlite. All right, so. Let us try to burn off pretty much everything that I have. I think it said I needed Tronium. No, I needed Platinum and Adamantine, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think that I am, but I could be. We need six fucking more. Alright, you sons of bitches. Thanks, birdie people. Alrighty. So we've helped, or we, we've dealt with the birdie problem. We still need to deal with the whole not having enough uh, adamantine problem. So far, so far the adventure's going alright, except for the fucking robots. These things are pretty fucking nasty. Check out and see if anything's on these planets, and then um, continue the adventure somewhere. Nice to make friends and not have people shooting laser beams at me. That's all for now. Did I already see that comment? I think I already saw this comment, right? Yeah, he's the one that swished through this area and just obliterated some poor fucking birdie ship. Constant high speed dust storms render visibility near zero below 200 meters. 
prior encounters with these structures allow the team to navigate to the chamber that controls the eye. Oh, son of a bitch up. All right. So with that out of the way, maybe we can go up and talk to the other Aroners and um, see if they feel like not shooting me, because that would be great. That would be nice. Probe. Shit. Think you're going? Where you think you're going? Back here, little shit. Where you think you're cute, do you, little shit? Yeah! This probe seems to have passed through a micro wormhole at some point. Too small for most ships. Your ship is now broadcasting a new Arona Treaty Group identifier. It has we discovered the location of the Nest Whirlpool and petitioned the Arona Mast. They are anxious to be reunited. reunited. Twenty adamantine! Why didn't I just wait? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Words alone are insufficient to express our gratitude and regret at previous hostilities. Allow us to transfer our mod modest gift of resources to you. You and the Atlas will always be regarded as true friends of the Arona. Yay, we made a friend. Oh, that's it. I, um, I'm going to go back to base now. I'm not sure why I'm thinking this planet can take me back to base. When the thing I need is down here. We're going to plop a shield generator onto this bitch. And we're going to fuck up some robots. Because if I can take their laser beams, which I'm assuming, since I almost have missile launchers, which I don't know if I use, but if I can take laser beams, tell you what, do the commander has to say, in recognition of the task you performed under trying circumstances and based on crew evaluation, I'm hereby field promoting you to commander, first class. Congratulations, commander. Well, that's that's great. I like that means I get better pay. I know that much. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, you're still an asshole, and you got nothing. So, that's a lot of research that we picked up. So let us grab this shield pupper, reactor pupper, laser beam puppers. All right. So. We have the shields. Shields up. Alright, so we'll do weapons after we get the rest of this nonsense out of the way. Because if I do get laser beams, why waste the research on plasma weapons, right? In legitimate. I think shields are done. Shields are done. Now I just need to finish up energy. I need to finish up ship size. Uh, and uh, turning ability. Okay. So. Let us head out. Punch some robots in the dick. Yeah, okay, shields. I feel safer already. Shields are energized by reserves that can only be recharged when the shields are down. Fair enough. There's a minimum shield charge needed before shields can be activated. You can tell us it's ready. You can tell it is ready by the shield charge indicator changing color. Why are my shields not working? Congratulations on your promotion. I know several crew members submitted recommendations to the Commodore. Yes! We have the bubble. Let us go shoot something with our bubble of love. What's going to be an easy target? I guess I can remove those things off the map as well. What's going to be an easy first target? 
head up this way, see if there's anything down this jump point. I know we missed a lot of shit, because we had to just fly by. Had to just fly by a lot of it, I'm pretty sure. But we're field testing shields, and hopefully they'll be super effective. The bullshit I had to put up with is any indication they sure as shit should be. I see our first target, I think. I do indeed. Oh, it's one of their bases. Never mind. Well, yeah, you guys didn't have a chance before. Now you're just fucked. Hey, bro, come here. I demand your attention. Ah, oh, it's empty. We can delete you. Delete that one. I guess I didn't make a note for the other one. That's fine. Wow, we want to get some... There we go. Oh no, they still wrecked the... Jesus. Not even the shields can do it. I don't know at that point. I don't get me wrong, they recharge fast, but... They just take so much damage from that damn thing. Holy shit. Jesus, no chance. Maybe I should just do ramming speed builds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is how it's gonna be. We'll kill us some bitch, don't get me wrong. It's just gonna take us a minute. Fly by ramings. Because I could also shoot my laser beams as I'm ramming. Recharge that. Jesus. This is what I gotta do to kill it on. These things are fucking dumb. At least they're not just insta giving me though, so that's good. Trying to take out that damn laser beam. If I can take out that segment. Can you fuck off with that? Really? You put some armor blocks in the front.
break your beam, Jesus, son. How long can you fucking do a beam for? Those shouldn't be... There shouldn't be something that you can just spam, Jesus. You figured it'd be like high concentrated energy discharge nonsense, what have yous. Good God Almighty. There's a. I'm playing chicken with an asshole. I mean, at least I'm not losing the chicken part, but... This is pretty silly. Fuck off, you son of a bitch. At least it makes it so I can combat them, if ever so ridiculously. Kill it. You're not gonna hide your fucking laser beam from me forever, you son of a bitch. I will have that damn strut. Seriously, how the fuck long can you do that laser beam? Jesus. Like, no stopping. Just full laser beam all the time. Okay. 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 Turning at the last second, you son of a bitch. Take your ramming like a good girl. Salutations, our comrade representatives. You've been on a good ally to the sword, and we'd like to make a small request of you. One of our unmanned science platforms seemed to have malfunctioned and ended up. An Arona controlled space. While we have no we have diplomatic relations with the Arona, our government is worried that if they discover the vessel, they mis may misunderstand its purpose. If you could destroy it, it would prevent an interstellar incident. Also, if you could retrieve some encrypted data, that would be exceptional. We'd be happy to share any scientific data as recorded with you. Well, okay, see what we can do. I mean, I know you're being shady as shit, but we'll see what we can do. Damn it! That's supposed to be it, you son of a bitch! Sorry, pardon me. Out of the way. 
what would allow me to ram better? Just, I guess, all the bodies, maybe armor up front instead? Better research and plasma rifles for sure. Don't be a dick. He's about to leave because he's losing. That's all. Nope, I'm about to leave because I'm losing. Son of a bitch. I will not stand for it. I will be back. You may wish to move next time. I have been fighting that ship for a while. I refuse. Well, I deleted you. Oh, you can just cross over the wormhole like a jackass. Got it. Okay. Be a prick. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh wait, did he go down it? No, he's there. Silly things I do for technology. Oh, come on, that was a good shot. I've been fighting this thing for like ten fucking minutes. Engine. Dick. Had to wiggle out of the way at the last second. Well, the shields allow me to eventually kill them. I get a good hit on that laser and it's over. All it would require, come on.
Why are you so fucking tough? I don't understand. You fuck off in this range, really? You're like 900 fucking tons tough, and your bullshit laser beam stretches across half the damn sector. I think, I think it's a little much. Own it. We'll eventually beat the shit out of you guys, okay. I've got much more left, you son of a bitch. And I'm only losing bodies, so. You know. Plasma guns seem to do fuck all to it. Ramming it until it's dead. We've taken this ship apart in chunks. Piece by piece, we've beaten this ship to the <laughs> Look at the damn thing. Fuck off. Get away from the wormholes, that'd be an ass. Did seriously? Are you just not dead? Well, I'm gonna be here all fucking day trying to kill this son of a bitch. Could you just break apart, please? There's no reason for it to be that damn tough. Not a singular fucking one. far out with your damn laser beam is so crazy my annoyance is rising with this seriously why won't it just break about the fourth time I've rammed this son of a bitch thank you 
And I didn't even get any technology shit from it. Man, that is obnoxious. Well. Well. Well, my friends, I think with that we're going to take a little break as uh, oh, that went on way too long. And the first skill for the Sentinels was not as satisfying as I'd hoped it'd be. So we'll be back later. So then y'all have a good day.